Okay, hopefully the quick time does not mess up because it's done that for like the last, I don't even know how many times I've tried to record something on it. So we'll see. Anyways, what is up guys? Welcome back to another lovely video by yours truly aka Drew Photo. Today we are going to be talking about some beautiful color grading options in the lovely app Affinity Photo. I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to color grade in Affinity Photo. Super easy, super simple, but hey, some of you may not know this tool and I'm gonna give you a little rundown uh, course of this trick or tool or adjustment actually is what it is. Go ahead and hop in to the lovely Affinity Photo. Uh, we're gonna grab a photo, I don't even know what photo we're gonna look at, but we're gonna take a photo from our favorites and we are going to take a look at how to color grade some of these bad boys. Typically for color grading, uh, I like to do it last. I like to do my retouching and everything first, and then I do my color grading. I don't know why, it's just what I do. I just feel like I don't wanna mess up colors with skin when I'm gonna go and change up the skin anyways. So I typically do it after all of the retouching and all that fun stuff, but I have heard some people that do it first, so I, I don't know. I don't know what's better. I personally do it after. So let's go ahead, hop into our favorites here. Let's pick a beautiful photo that we can uh, do some color grading with. Let's just take this lovely photo of Emily and give it a shot. I'm not gonna do anything in the raw, really, honestly. We're, we're gonna do some quick little adjustments that I typically do. I'm usually aiming for uh, skin tones to look the, the best, is what, I, is what I do here. We'll go ahead and import. So, the lovely tool that we use, that we're gonna use for color grading is it's in our adjustments, which is this little square over here with the three little circles in it. And we are going to scroll on down to our lovely color balance. Go ahead and tap on color balance and we are going to hop into this. So what you can see at the bottom here real quick is that we have a range, which is going to give us shadows mid-tones and our highlights and then you have your rgb uh, colors as well with these little circles here clearly the range is selecting the shadows mid-tones or highlights of the photo and then we are able to adjust the colors and everything like that what this can allow us to do is we can basically pinpoint just the highlights and we could maybe add some cyans to the highlights if we wanted to, or we could even go crazy and go for the red if we wanted to. But you can see how we're just adjusting, just adjusting our highlights here. And you can see the difference if we swap over to our shadows and do the same thing, right? To give you a better look, we'll, we'll just do another color balance layer. And this one we will call shadows this is the one that we are adjusting shadows on. And this one, we can do highlights. And we'll do the same thing. We'll do 100% on the cyan side of things, just so you can see the difference here. So this is your highlights cyan maxed out 100% versus your shadows. So you can see there's quite a large difference between the two and what you're changing to the photo, right? Now, perfecting what's great, what colors work well with others, uh, that is something that you will want to definitely look into. There's so many different uh, color combinations that you can do for shadows and highlights and all that stuff to give you a beautiful look. Um, I usually use the color balance tool to basically fix any weird colors in the photo so like if a photo is too magenta or too green I will use color balance to basically balance out the color in the photo what what the adjustment tells us right but this can this is an easy way I guess to do some quick color grading on our images and so let's just do one real quick we will grab color balance here we'll do I love I love my cyans and my highlights honestly so we're gonna add a little bit of that just to give it a little bit of a cooler look and we will hop into the shadows and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of reds to the shadows just slightly now a little bit can go a long way with this so please be careful when you are adjusting because you can get pretty crazy with it so little adjustments go a long way just remember that 
just to give like a nice overall little boost to your photo already. I wouldn't try and completely change the feel of your photo, right? Say if you shot a nice moody, cool photo, I would not try to uh, adjust it to a super warm uh, photo. I mean, you, you probably could, uh, but it's it's a lot more difficult than you think, and uh, it's probably not gonna look the best. So I tried to stick with I guess the colors that you have already shot, I guess, if that makes any sense that, you know. Anyways, basically what I try to do, an easy thing that you can do, if you guys are familiar with your histogram and how all of that stuff looks, you can actually take a look at that, which I'm trying to find, here it is. You can take a look at that and see what color there is too much of, so you can basically take down a little bit on it. So you can see that we have a lot of greens in our midtones, and so what we could do is we could actually come into our midtones, go to our greens, and do the opposite. So basically just give a little bit of magenta in there to balance out that green. You can kind of see it really over here on the right of her. If we do it drastically, you'll kind of see that difference. But we're going to Bring it down just a little bit to counter that green, and boom. So we'll go back to shadows. We'll keep those shadows nice and red. Maybe add a little bit of magenta to them just because I like the purple red pop. And we're gonna hit the preserve luminosity because we don't want the whites or the highlights to get too messed up with this as well. Now I'm gonna go back into our highlights. Let's just see what it looks like if we add a little bit of blue or yellows. I kind of like the yellows just because it is a little bit of a warmer photo. We're not gonna add too much though, because you wanna be nice and careful. The only, the only downfall to this is that it's super sensitive. This will basically allow you to do simple things like I typically do for my work, uh, or you can go all out drastic and do some crazy, you know, colors and make it super warm or super cool or anything like that. Uh, but this is, this is how I fix skin tones and that sort of thing in my photos. Yeah, color balance. It's a great tool. It's pretty awesome. You guys should take a look into it if you haven't already. It's, it's amazing. Hopefully, that makes a little bit of sense. Hopefully it does, but that's what I use it for, and that's how you should use it as well, because it's beautiful. Anyways, I don't know what else to talk about. I just wanted to share the color balance adjustment to you guys. I assume a lot of people aren't super familiar with the application itself, and all the adjustments that you can use in this app. So this is one of the adjustments that I love using. But yes, have fun with it, go wild with it. Remember that you can always bring down your opacity if it's too much or anything like that. But uh, but yeah, anyways, have a wonderful, beautiful day. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing anything else. It's been it's been a lazy day. It, it, it has, I mean, I'm I'm chilling in my boxers right now, which is, which is epic, but yeah. Color balance. It's amazing. It's beautiful. You should use it more often for your color grading. It's epic. But, but yeah. I don't know what else to say. Enjoy your day. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully people learned something from that. I don't know. That was kind of, that was, you know, I don't know. You guys are probably like, I already know. You freaking idiot. I've, I've used color balance my entire life, you dumb dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? It's all I could think of. It's all I could think of.